you love what you do, your work becomes a pleasure of the heart. And what better way to start doing that than to focus on people from all walks of life who are doing just that, putting all of their energy into making careers of the things they love to do. If I'm moving, I'm doing what I love to do. takes us to a fabulous designer of home and business so furniture. A little bit of the name Chagoli. Yeah. Means like the full name of my father, which is the first uh, two letters J-A, Xavier. The middle name Gio Gomez. And the uh, last name is Lira, L-I. I love uh, the name and the, the J that you use. So what do you uh, attribute your, your energy that you apply to this business? What motivates you about this business? Okay, really? It is amazing when you get paid for something you love to do. Of the, the product we have. Very here. nice. So you can see all very detailed. And everything all very is by, detailed. And no, very well, just finished completely. Yeah. And it's all by hand. By hand. With five advanced degrees to his credit, Dr. Randall Pinkett has always been on the fast track to success. But winning the ultimate approval from the master himself, Donald Trump. How did he pull that off? You're hired. Tell us about this book, Campus CEO. I mean, the Campus CEO is really a book geared toward young people who want to get into business, who want to leverage the resources on their campus yes. in order to grow a successful enterprise. And, and this is something that you did. You're going from your own experience. Very well said. Yes, absolutely. So I started yes. my first business at Rutgers as an undergraduate, mm -hmm. selling compact discs out of my dormitory. Oh. And that, weren't bootlegging CDs. No, it was legitimate. <laughs> okay. Wholesale CDs that we marked up, made a profit, you know, Very and good. used that money to invest in another venture, which led to the, the, the current venture, BCT Partners, which is now a multi-million dollar company. So oh. people thought it was really cute when we first got started. Oh, look at them selling CDs. But yes. Now it's an established, full-fledged enterprise. And in fact, I think we even employ some of the people who said it was cute. <laughs> On this edition of In Focus. After 50 years of spinning the hits, this Chicago radio legend is still at the top of his game. It's an In Focus exclusive with Chicago's own Mayor of Bronzeville, Herb Kent, the King of Dusties, the Cool Gent. It's all coming up next. I'm Focus. Are you? I grew up with you, Thank and you. you're 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 an absolute legend here in the city of Chicago. And you have to really want it. And no matter what happens, when you get knocked down, when you get down down on one knee, you got to get it up. There's no better time right now to start living the life you've always dreamed for yourself. And it's not it's not all the glamour, you know. It's a lot of work. Okay, so how did you get into food? That's kind of a that's kind of a big leap from barber to restaurateur. Well, my my grandmother taught me how to cook, mm -hmm. so I was always in the kitchen with her since I was seven years old. I said one day when I grew up, I had my own little fast food spot. So this is not something that came of late. This right. is something that you just planned. Following my dreams, following my dreams from childhood. After the break, Quentin is going to grill it up and dish it out. Here and what are you going to prepare for us today? Well, we're going to we're going to prepare a Philly chicken. We're going to do a Jamaican wrap. We're going to do an Italian chicken. And there's your Philly chicken. <laughs> I can't wait to taste it. When do we get to taste it? Greek chicken gyro. So now we do we get to taste that one now? Oh, you got to be patient now. We okay. Got, we, got, <laughs> we got one more to go. <laughs> we got one more to go. This is how we do it at Quinch. At Quinch. Right. Do it. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Well, that wraps it up for another episode of In Focus. And remember, your journey to greatness begins with that very first step. So what are you waiting for? Get to stepping. We'll see you next week.